And now there's something you really like about it and something you miss when you're here. As I read this, it's a household gadget. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that household gadget. <laughs> that would be so funny if that is what we were talking about. <laughs> uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's here tonight. Uh, so what, 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 is it, what is it you miss? <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> we're overexcited. It's a little... But the thing that I have when I, that I miss when I'm here... This could go wrong, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, you go with this story. I, I hope I'm thinking what you're thinking. Is it my little robot floor cleaner? Yes! <laughs> Would you love that? I love that! I love that! <laughs> So you have this little... It's like a hoover. Well, it's just a little round disc. Well, that... I say... I, I don't know why I'm asking you to describe it. I have one here somewhere. Uh, this Is this the one you have? That's the fella. Yeah. Now, this... It's called a Roomba. Yes. And... Do you have one of these? Looks like a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> now, Willem, you've kind of brought us down there. Uh, we were having an amusing chat... my job! job. <laughs> <laughs> we were having an amusing chat about a household appliance and suddenly it's a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now, and basically, so what, you just leave that on all day Great. and walk off, you just leave it at your house? Yes, and it just does it and it senses when there's a wall and it goes, oh, yeah. oh I won't go there and it changes direction. Oh, it's loving that, nice big long run. It might get confused at the end, though. Well, now, I guess I found it a bit... Uh, is it broken? <laughs> What's it called? Oh, I'll come back. Oh, shit. What's it... <laughs> Sucking up flex. I told you. Does it do that? Mine doesn't. No. <laughs> OK. Ethan, you know, once you decided to be an actor, so your first big break of the movie loads of people love, Dead Poets Society. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. uh, you're amazing. Um, and is this the movie your, your, your children have seen this film? Mm hmm My mother forced them to watch it, and about three-quarters of the way through, <laughs> my son said, so when do you come on, Dad? <laughs> and uh, you've been watching me for an hour and a half. <laughs> so what are you? <laughs> it's just really... <laughs> it's heartbreaking, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The crooked teeth, yeah! <laughs> it is weird, that, that first moment when your kids realise that you're on telly. I remember mine, when she's about three or four running in, going, Mum, Mum, you're on the telly. And I was like, oh, how sweet, went in. Telly tubbies. Thank you, thank you. Of course, working with Robin Williams, everyone loves Robin Williams. You, I mean, you've been uh, yeah, on the night yeah, listener, so, how, yeah. and lovely he is, and he's been mm -hmm. on here, and everyone loved him. But your your relationship with him on, on set sounded a, 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 a bit fractious. Well, he was incredibly funny, right? And he was very relaxed and very inventive, and he would get up, and he was playing this teacher, and he would just improv constantly all day long. And the more the crew laughed, the more he Encouraged would... Encouraged he was. Uh, he <laughs> would go... And I was... <laughs> I really wanted to be a serious actor. You know, I really was... I had, I had read Stanislavski and I had what was supposed to be in my pockets and I really, you know, really wanted to be in character and I really didn't want to laugh. And so the, the, <laughs> more, the more I didn't laugh, the more insane he got <laughs> and would make fun and, oh, this one doesn't want to laugh, and the more smoke would come out of my ears. And, <laughs> and I'm like, he didn't understand. I was trying to do a good job. You know, I want to be Montgomery Clift over here. You're trying to be Zero Mustel or something. And, 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 and uh, so I thought he hated me because he just constantly would lay into me. No sooner would action start than he would lay into Todd over here. That was my character's name. And... Uh, and then when the movie was over, I had to go back to school, and I got this call, and it was from a big Hollywood agent. You know, this guy says, I'm, I'm Robin Williams' agent, and he says that you're going to be somebody, and that I should sign you. And I was like, really? And I, uh, so he got me my first agent, who's still wow. my agent now. I and, love um, that story. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. That's so lovely. Uh, yeah. Really, really lovely. 
But you are one of those actors who like the learning. Like, I mean, some of it's standard. Like, you learned bits of Russian to, to um, do uh, the, birth, film that I did, the birthday yeah. girl. Yeah. Did you, you didn't say no, that? No, I did. I did. <laughs> he did it. I did. <laughs> I know. I'm just very old and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> In, in Australia, the film, mm. you, you learnt some quite extreme mm. things when you were doing that, didn't you? Um... <laughs> <laughs> there was a take that fan who couldn't wait. <laughs> saw, saw you Jackman and went. <laughs> 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 so, what, what did you learn in that? It, um, well... Did you like... learn to cast? No, I didn't learn to castrate the ball. That is not true. Oh, that isn't true! No! Oh, They now... asked me about that before and I did not learn to castrate balls. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then I may be very... Let's move off may be castrating very dis... anything, right? I, I may be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> did, you, did, did you then... Did you study brain surgery? Oh, stop. Are you being... <laughs> Why are you doing this to I me? Heard, right? I heard... I heard... You're being so mean. No! I heard, I heard someone had to, was looking for you and kind of, well, where is she? And you went, oh, I'm sort of at the brain oh, surgery oh, place. Oh, yes. No, I went Thank the you! <laughs> <laughs> Did you study the brain surgery? No, I didn't. I studied the brain surgery. <laughs> no, I went to the hospital and I um, worked as an intern in the hospital. Um, in the emergency thing, yeah. emergency ward. But You're throwing me off my game. But here. this was for Days of Thunder, where you were there any scenes in a no. hospital? <laughs> no, but I, I mean, part of the reason I love acting is I love learning. So if there's something to learn, then I will learn it. Okay. Yeah, good for you. As best I can, put it that you way. You know how hard it is to be that mean to Harry Melling? He is like the sweetest individual in the world. Oh. <laughs> Because, uh, yes, he played Harry, his name's Harry Melling, and you, I mean, that was exciting for you to do a scene with Harry Melling. Small bit. Like, yeah. Big bit. Yeah. It Harry was, Melling, it was, Harry Melling was her Rihanna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, t tell, us why, tell us why he meant so much to you. Well, I learnt to speak English reading the Harry Potter books, so as lame as it sounds, those characters really were my first friends. Um, so, still a big fan of the Harry Potter franchise, love the movies. Oh my God, look at him! He played Dudley Dursley. I mean, he's not an obvious one. Presumably people don't come up to him all the time. <laughs> he's still part of the universe! <laughs> <laughs> and so what, what language were you speaking when you learnt to speak English through Harry Potter? Spanish. Oh, OK. Wow. And yeah, so, I'm Argentine. So when did you come to London? When I was six, but I only learnt English when I was eight, because I was convinced that if I didn't speak the language, my parents would have to take me home. And that failed miserably. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> had to learn. And the, the, the chess set sales all over the world have gone through the roof. And Mel Gedward here, yes. you've, you've got into it, haven't you? Yes, Anya, um, I've got to say, <laughs> we have now started playing chess regularly in our household because of you. It's, it's written... Oh. Yeah, my daughters are really involved. It's fantastic. Well, wow. well, I have to tell you this. So this is going to sound really random, but being in Beth's headspace the whole time was quite an intense experience. Yeah. And I had never seen Bake Off before. And I clung to Bake Off whilst I was filming Queen's Gambit the whole time. Like, any time I was in a costume change, I was watching Bake Off. So you were right yeah. there with me. Anya, I'm not in it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, started, I started from the very beginning, because I'd never seen it before. Oh, hang on. Not Series 1, where the, the, the hairdos, the styling was terrible. Series 1, lady. I was there. <laughs> Come on, Anya. Classic Bake Off. A classic that's, Bake Off. You know, it gets better, Series 3. Can, canonical <laughs> public service Bake Off. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. you know. It jumps the shark about... Series five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ethan Hawke, you've had an extraordinary experience working with an older actor. I wondered if that's where you were going. Was this on, bro was this on Broadway? <laughs> I, I was on Broadway once, yes, and I was doing a scene... This is unbelievable. Go. I was doing a scene with the great Richard Easton, a Canadian actor who actually was in the RSC for 25 years, and we were doing a scene where he's playing my father and I have to ask him for money, and he would get very angry and shout at me, and he would shout and shout and shout and shout, and one day we're doing it, and he was getting particularly mad and particularly heated... And he had a heart attack and fell down on center stage. And the audience, unlike you, thought it was absolutely hysterically Commitment. funny. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, they, I mean, he really hit the... Oh. He hit like a watermelon hit, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I was absolutely terrified, because I was just... I'd done many plays with him, and I, 
I knew something was terrib wrong. terribly wrong. Oh my God. And so it turns out he died. Now, yes, but the- Hang on, hang on, on hang on. It just slipped off the tongue. <laughs> no, it, the, there was a guy who did props on the show who was really good at CPR and he came out and he started working on it and doing CPR and bone and we had to say, is there a doctor in the house? And somebody came out and the show stopped and we called the ambulance and the guys came and they started his heart again. With the, I mean, oh 11 God. minutes later or something, they what? had the, ele yeah. 11 minutes later? Uh, center stage, Broadway. Did the audience the, leave the theater? No, the nobody left. <laughs> <laughs> they were, you know, they, and, um, oh but my it, God, it was so intense. Let me tell you, it was incredibly intense, all right? Yes. And I mean, we were all backstage praying. I mean, it was, uh, it was terrifying. Yeah. And did he come back to the play? Well, it was great. He, yes, he did. And uh, <laughs> um, not that night. Yeah, I was going to say. No. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. He, he, went, <laughs> he went to the hospital, clearly. The show did not go on. Oh um, the show stopped. And a couple days later, I got a call, because we were friends, and he wanted me to come. I came to his hospital room, and he ran lines with me, because he wanted me to go back to wow. the... Um, cast and the crew and everybody and show that he didn't have brain damage and he remembered all his lines and that uh, his understudy better cool as jets because he was coming back. <laughs> and uh, it was beautiful and then he did come back. It's one of my, the best shows of my life was when he came back. Oh, that's incredible. But, oh, that's amazing. But, yeah, but it must have been quite nerve-wracking in that scene every it night. Was kind of like incredibly yeah. nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and Nicole Kidman, you had an adorable name when you were little, a sort of pet name. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. No. If I'm wrong, <laughs> you know, won't you call? Is it? I don't know how you call it. Is it Hukulani? Oh no, that's not my pet name. That's my Hawaiian name. Oh, oh so I, I, I do forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I was born in Hawaii. Oh, so does everyone get an Hawaiian name if you're born in Hawaii? No, but I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hokulani. What does it mean? It means. Heavenly star. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> slightly but undermines it yeah. when you explain where your parents got the name. Um, from the Honolulu Zoo, there was a baby, <laughs> the baby elephant that was born at the same time as me was called Hokulani. <laughs> now, actually, so we, we found, we read about it, so we Google it, there was a picture, oh, no. this is a picture of Hukulani the elephant. Oh. See? See Heavenly the similarity? Star. My twin! <laughs> <laughs> it's the hour's nose. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, stop that now. That isn't what I meant. Okay. But so we were, we were in the office and we, you know, kind of <clears throat> elephants live. Yeah. Elephants live. And we thought, oh, I That's wonder what happened. That's amazing. I wonder what happened. I, I wonder what happened. Is that really the. And you've got him. Wouldn't it be amazing here? if we had Hukulani out back? So we emailed, <laughs> we emailed Honolulu Zoo no. and said, yes. remember Hukulani? What happened to the Hukulani? And uh, very kindly, someone, I think her name's Barbara, she found time to email back. Uh, Aloha, because that's what you say. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not Aloha. <laughs> what is it's this? Aloha. Aloha. Ah. Hokulani. Yes, Aloha. <laughs> Hokulani. Hokulani. Oh, oh. Uh, Barbara writes, I am sorry to say that Hokulani died at the Honolulu Zoo on November the 13th, 1970. Oh. 1970. Oh, now, you would mom. think, busy, busy, busy running a zoo, I'll stop my email there. That's all they wanted to know. Yeah. No, Barbara continues. <laughs> she was found dead in the moat of her exhibit. Oh, it goes on. This is awful. It, I know. Why are you no, me? no, no. So, no, but, like, she, but this was in 1970, and I Barbara remembers it like, like it was yesterday. Like <laughs> She was found in the moat. It was oh. speculated that she was pushed in by another young elephant, <laughs> uh, jealous of the mothering attention she was receiving from an older female. I wish there was a more warm and fuzzy angle to this story. <laughs> Good luck with your interview. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. I, uh, I would say she's got the measure of your show about right. <laughs> 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 I love this dead elephant story.